All right. <laughs> Your grave is over there? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. So are you ghosts or are you time travelers? I'm a ghost. Oh, you are? <laughs> you're, looking, you're looking pretty good. You're hanging with the time traveler here? Yeah. So what are you telling people out here? Well, it really is interesting that with our station here at St. Bartholomew's, and of course Chatham County and St. Bartholomew's Parish is the correct name of the county when it was formed, but Lucy wait a minute, wait a minute. That was Chatham County St. Bartholomew's Parish. Parish, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that why the, the term? Name. Why the term parish? Because I don't think you hear that anymore, except for maybe down in Louisiana. Yeah, but you you would in those days, of course, because of the Church of England. Of course, so St. Bartholomew's Parish was a normal name to give along with the county at that time. All right. So it was, that was and. In this cemetery, Lucy Worth Jackson from the Civil War era actually has her gravestone. She was buried in the cemetery. Okay, I'm not going to go there because that's kind of spooky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, I got a question. As a time traveler, how did you rate a cutout in front of the courthouse? And and actually, I am three dimensional. So if you look at the side there, you know, sir, it's sir, let's not let's not go there. You know. <laughs> Hot, 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 it's, you're going to land up on hothistoricalfigures.com site here. So let's let's keep the frontal view. Uh, actually, you have how many reenactments have you been? You you read the declaration of the county formation at one of the county commissioner meetings, didn't you? We did. We had the opportunity to do that to introduce the 250th semi-quincentennial of Chatham County. Now say that again. <coughs> Semi. Semi-quincentennial. Okay, can you say that three times fast? Semi-quincentennial, semi-quincentennial. There you go, folks. There you go. See, three times practice, real fast. Practice, practice makes perfect. That's right. John Brooks was one of the earliest settlers in Chatham County, before it was Chatham County, but my youngest son, Isaac, as you may have heard in the past already, was the first representative to the Colonial Assembly in New Bern after Chatham County became a county. And what's the, what's the significance of New Bern back in that day? Ah, Governor Tryon was building the palace at that time, which didn't set well with the folks here in the Piedmont area. And why is that? Country. It cost too, too much to be doing that, and we were taxed way too high in those days, along with all of the other idiosyncrasies of that time. So we were not happy about that. And it, I think it's, it's almost fitting that Isaac Brooks who was part of the <clears throat> early regulation movement, became the first representative to the Colonial Assembly from Chatham County. Oh, okay. Now, coming to present day, at what point did you decide, hey, I like to get dressed up and run around playing historical figures? This is an interesting story. <clears throat> you know well about the courthouse fire and when yes. we had the... Now, don't tell me you started it because we don't need to know that kind of stuff. We don't need to know that kind of stuff. All right. The truth of the matter is... Um, since we were part of the Historical Association at that time, we were asked if we would be willing for the grand opening to get some costumes, dress up its characters for a one-time event for right. the grand opening. And it has evolved after that, so that once the museum was open, we, we, we usually go up and down the streets of town every Sunday, you know, that we have the first Sunday, and we go into the stores and we invite people to come down to the museum to okay. visit it. So we had our chance to do that, but the other part of it is that one of the best things I think that's happened for the school kids in the area is that we have opportunities to come in fourth grade classes. Uh, they all come through during the school year to the courthouse where we put on a mock trial for them of the Goldilocks. Right. And we have, to end it up, we have one of our historical characters come in to tell them about the part of the history that they were involved in. Are you, are you gonna tell us how that trial with Goldilocks thing turned out? No, we aren't. No, okay. I, guess, I guess I got to regress to fourth can, grade and come, come out and see. You can come and visit any time that we get back to semi-normal again and, and are hosting those events once more. It's open really to the public. Anybody could come out. How did you figure out how to recreate these costumes? Can we call What do we call them? Do we call them costumes or do we call them... Well, you can't call them dressage because that has to do with horses. Uh, there we go. Uh, and I think the next one may want to hear about history. Hello again. They're just oh, you you saw those folks before, yeah, in your previous in your previous I think time travel. Kind of come back and forth, but Lucy Worth Jackson can tell you all about the costumes because right. she's designed most of them. And is costumes the correct term to use? 
for us it is. It that's fine. fine. Uh, well, you know, you might be touchy about it. Now, is your, are your cus- uh, like if you go see a theater production, do you guys want to talk to the time traveler or the ghost? Because, you know, she, she's buried in this, this, this graveyard over here. She is. That's right. Yeah. Pretend like you like each other. Yeah, for, uh, from different eras, we get along quite well yeah. together. Actually, I'm I'm the colonial era, and she's Civil War era. Right. So. Now, how come people didn't smile in those old pictures? That's a good question. Google it to find out the answer. Well, Google was my answer to the costume question. Oh, okay. That's how we figured out what we needed to wear. We we just googled typical clothing. For the period, and then we went to the thrift stores and found things that we could modify to. Now the f- fire was how many years ago? Ten. Um, yes. Ten. So are these the original costumes, or how do you take care of them? We launder them occasionally. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did they use deodorant back in your day? They used a lot of powder. Powder. Okay. <laughs> Lots of talcum powder. Lots of talcum powder. Indeed. They did. So, so. And how did you decide to be, be the Lucy character? That was the character that I was asked to Okay. Portray. Yeah, we were, we were told who we were going to be. Yeah. All right. So were so you hap- happy with your choices? Sure. Absolutely. Now, I got a question. Okay. In this day of equality, how come you don't have a cutout at the uh, courthouse? That's also a good question. Okay. <laughs> Just put it on the next item for the Historical Society. We need a female cutout at the <laughs> Historical Center. It's probably going to cost a little bit less because she's shorter than you are. Right. Probably, so, and I'm sure that's one of the factors considering it. I don't know how much that one cost, but it was it was too much, no matter what it was. Too, too much? much for, too much for the Historical Society, yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's a draw. People see that and go, hey, I want to take a picture with that they, cutout, don't they? They do, in fact. Folks can be a block away from there and think it's actually a human being standing. There you go. See, there you go. You know, and and during during a growing season, you could get a part time job for that as as a scarecrow. Um, Actually, some some towns have historical tours that they do at nights. Have you ever considered doing something like that? Ghost tour. Ghost tour. Yeah, because I mean, both of you are dead. So we know that's a really good idea. And I will uh, I will bring that idea up to the Historical Association. Because I think one of the places my kids went to Chatham County Schools, we went up in Virginia and they had a ghost yeah. tour and they went through a cemetery, which the kids, some of the kids enjoyed it and some of the kids got a little willy by yeah. it. Yeah, the so. last time we were up at Gettysburg, they were doing some ghost tours in Gettysburg at that time too. All right, so folks, we're going to see if we're going to get ghost tours or we're going to get a cutout of a female yeah. character in front of the courthouse. <laughs> maybe maybe we should start a fund me fund. To there you go. Go go fund. What's what's the term? Go, go fund. Go, go fund. Me. There you go. See, thank you very much. This is how Chatham <laughs> County folks help each other. A GoFundMe fund to get a historical female cutout in front of the courthouse. Beautiful. See, there you go, folks. Thank you very much. Look, you need to educate these folks because they want to go see the Earl down the road.